So this is a system of um, equations. It's not linear. We've got a quadratic equation for the top one and then a linear equation down here. So this is quadratic and the bottom one is linear. Okay, but we can solve by the substitution method. So probably um, it's, well, what's the easiest way to do it? Maybe the easiest way to do it is to look at this equation and say 3x, if I subtract the 9 and put the y on the other side, equals y. Then I can substitute this in for y into the other equation, which would give me x squared equals 2 times 3x minus 9 plus 10. Now, I don't know if this is the easiest way to do the problem, but it's one way to do the problem. Okay, so then I can distribute x squared equals 6x minus 18 plus 10, or x squared equals 6x minus 8. And then if I get everything on one side, because it's quadratic, I get x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. So I'm moving stuff over to the other side. Now, this appears pretty good because I can factor this. So x minus 4 and x minus 2 is how it factors. And so I get two solutions for x, 4 and 2. Now, those are two separate solutions. And we are looking for a system, I'm sorry, a solution to the system, an ordered pair because we have x and y. So we still have to find y. So let's say x equals 4. Then using this substitution equation, um, 3 times 4 minus 9 equals y, or 12 minus 9 equals y, or 3 equals y. Okay, that gives us an ordered pair then of 4, 3. So we're saying that's one of the solutions. You can try it into the other equation, into the quadratic, and see if it works. You get 16 on the left, and you get 16 on the right. You know, mentally, I'm just figuring that out. <laughs> but if you put in the 4 for x and the 3 for y. Okay, now our other solution for x was x equals 2. So we plug in 2 into this equation. 3 times 2 minus 9 equals y. 6 minus 9 equals y. Or negative 3 equals y. And so we get an ordered pair of 2. I'm going to write it over here. 2 comma negative 3, x comma y. Those are our two solutions. Now that one I checked mentally in my head, but this one I'll write out so you can see it. So when I'm checking it, I already know it works in this equation. You can write it out, but we, that's how we got it, right, over here. But what about the other equation, x squared equals 2y plus 10? Well, x is 2, so you have 2 squared, and you have 2 times negative 3 plus 10. So on the left, you get 4. And here you get negative 6 plus 10, which is 4. Okay, so yeah, it works. All right, so there are two solutions. And I have a box and now a circle, <laughs> an ellipse, <laughs> or an oval over the, around the two solutions. Okay, here we're graphing. This is an inequality that we're graphing. So we take 2x minus 3y and make it equal to 6 so we can graph the boundary line. Now, I would probably put it in slope-intercept form. You don't have to. You could make a table of values, or you could use the intercept method um, to solve this. Okay, so putting the 2x on the other side, dividing everything by negative 3, that gives us y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. I think that's the way I did it in most of the videos. Now, my graph paper, for some reason, is very large. Okay, so my intercept is right here. The y-intercept is negative 2. And then my slope is up 2 and running 3. So up 2, 1, 2, 3. Up 2, 1, 2, 3. And so there we go. Now, I have to decide, is it dotted or is it a solid line? Well, because it has the equal to part right here, it's got the equal to part, it is solid. And then we have to pick a point not on the line. Usually we pick 0, 0. And we see if that works in the equation to know which side to shade. So 2x minus 3y is greater than or equal to 6. I can't see the equation. Is that what it was? 2x minus 3y greater than, yeah. Okay, so if I put in a 0 for x, 
and a 0 for y. Is that greater than or equal to 6? If you're going to get 0 minus 0, which is 0, oops, that's a 6. <laughs> is 0 greater than or equal to 6? Now think about it. Don't rush. 0 greater than 6. No. Okay, so not the top part, then the bottom part. So we would color all of this part in. So that's how we graph that. Here we have another inequality, but it is not linear. It is um, quadratic. I'm trying to make my graph paper a little smaller. So we have y equals x squared plus 4. Now, that we're supposed to know how to graph. That is a quadratic equation. It's the basic quadratic, but shifted up 4. So you can use your transformations to help you graph that. If not, if you're like, eh, I don't remember those transformations, then just make a table of values. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's a point, 4, 0. You could plug in 1, you're going to get 5. You plug in negative 1, you're going to get uh, 5. You can think about the axis of symmetry and things like that. If you plug in 2, you're going to get 8. And if you plug in negative 2, you're going to get 8. Uh, okay, <laughs> now, did it have the equal to part? No, it was y is greater than x squared plus 4. So it is dotted. Might be hard to draw that, but it's a dotted parabola, something like that. Okay, now we have to decide, are we shading it in or outside the parabola? So we put, take a point not on the line. So I'm going to pick 0, 0 again. 0 is greater than 0 squared plus 4. 0 is greater than 4. Yes or no? No. 0 is not greater than 4. So it won't be this outside part. It'll be this inside part right here. Now, it isn't always the inside part. It seems like a lot of our problems it was, but I think this is actually a repeat problem. But we're just going over the concepts. Okay. And I think that's it. Okay, that's it for that video.